laziest man in the world? No. Well, well, when he wanted to clean his teeth, he took his toothbrush like this and watched the tennis match. Colonel. Hello, Colonel. Yeah. He took first prize at Crufts. Really? Yeah, he ran off with a cup in his mouth. <laughs> Does he like children? Yes, but he prefers these chalky things. Look at that. Look. <laughs> My dog started digging holes all over the garden. That's bad news. Ah, oh, I've stopped him now. How'd you do that? I've hidden the shovel. Hidden the shovel. <laughs> oh, oh, let me sit down. Oh, these new shoes are not hurting me. Oh, well, Fluella, you've got them on the wrong feet. What do you mean? I haven't got any other feet. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Hello. Can I tell you about my rich brother? Oh, he's got a good head for money, has he? I should say so. He's got a little slot just above the eyebrows there. Oh, <laughs> my brother just gave me this radio. It's got CB. Citizens Band? No, corroded batteries. Oh. Here, here yeah. listen. What do you get if you cross Terry Wogan with New Year's Day? We, we don't, don't know. know. What, what do you, you get, get if you cross, cross Terry Wogan, Wogan with New, New Year's Day? Day? A blankety-blank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when our dog was a puppy, we were going to call him Carpenter. Where were you going to call him Carpenter? He used to do little odd jobs about the place, you know. <laughs> Come on, walkies, walkies, good hey, boy. Where would you find a ten ton tortoise? We, we don't, don't know. know. Where, where would, would you, you find, find a ten ton tortoise? tortoise? Not far from where you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick, talking about tortoises. Yes. Do you want one of those sweets that don't melt in your hand? Oh, yes, please. Go on, take one. Oh, they've melted in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult with only one hand. Oh, never mind, love. Put it down. Oh. Oh, Tarzan, you forgot the milk. Oh, sorry, Jane. Tarzan forgets. Ah! Oh, thank you, darling. Now tell me, one lump or two? Seven. <laughs> oh, hello, Auntie. How are you? Very well, thank you, Rodney. How would you like the new jumper I knitted you? Oh, fine, Auntie. Fine. It suits me down to the ground. <laughs> oh. And now we interrupt the show to take you over to our Eurovision studio for the final stages in one of Europe's most popular television contests. Over to you, Fluella Benjamin. Good evening, bonsoir. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, I have with me the final results which I will announce in reverse order. I beg your pardon, I mean odour. In third place, with a really poor score, 14 points, Catter's poor goes to a pair of Whiffy Wellingtons from Wales. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And in second place, runner-up for this year, with a really sensational score, 17 points, this set poor goes to a pair of Pongy Pilchards from Portugal. <laughs> And in first place, with a really high score, and believe me, it's high, with 21 points, Van et un point goes to a stinky, stenchy, soggy slice of Gorgonzola from Germany. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And that's the end of another contest. But do tune in again next year to Smelly Vision for another Eurovision Pong contest. Good night and sweet smells. <laughs> Yeah, roll up, roll up. What do you think of it so far? 
Oh, well, yeah, well, that's a pity, because the bin man doesn't come until Tuesday, so you're stuck with it. Talk to being stuck. Who's feeling thirsty? Anybody like a drink? Yeah, anybody like a drink? The lady there would like a drink. It's lovely. It's brandy. It's old top brandy. Here you are, darling. Oh, no! Look at that. Did you see the way he flinched then? He thought it was real. What a terrible joke. What a preposterous thing. Would you like to hold that for us? Thank you very much. Anybody think it was a comedy? Move up, move up. I'm coming in here. Mind my feet. Look, mind my feet. My feet are killing me. So are these shoes. Cool. They've, they've trod on millions of these shoes today, you know. I trod on a fly. Split the zip. Hello. What's your name? Julia. How peculiar. How nice. Where's my Uta? There we are, Julia. Good now then. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, you know, I've got some sandwiches in here. I've got some sandwiches in here. Anybody like a sandwich? Yeah? Good. They're made for me, you know, by my neighbour, Myrtle. She's a lovely lady. She does the odd favour for me, and I do the same for her. And yesterday, she said to me, she said, I don't want that old apple tree, she said, in my back garden. Chop it down, she said. So I chopped it down for her. She needn't have worried. Now she's got it in the kitchen, the hall in the front room, yeah. <laughs> but, the budgie, but the budgie feels at home. Yeah. I did, and now she, she's doing a favour for me now. She's cleaned out, she's cleaned out that horrible, filthy, stinking, slime-filled old horror of a pond at the bottom of my garden. Oh, that's giving me a lovely appetite. I wonder what I've got in here. Do you like talking about appetites and sandwiches? Yeah, you can make sandwiches out of anything these days, can't you, darling? You think of that, Julia? Peculiar Julia, you can, you know, yeah. You know, my, yeah, uh, Myrtle's auntie, Myrtle, Myrtle's auntie, she, she likes tin sardine sandwiches. Yeah, they don't call her Jaws for nothing. <laughs> I went to Bournemouth last week, I went to Bournemouth last week. I said I want a doorstep, no, I didn't. I said I want a, I want a double decker sandwich, I want a double decker sandwich. Yeah, yeah, they managed the bread all right, they couldn't find the bus. Now then, where's my, where's my sandwiches? What we got in here? What's Myrtle giving me? Good gracious me, look at that. Mixed nuts. You like mixed nuts? Yeah, there you are. Oh, oh, there's a naughty worm you got all over there. Now, what else have we got? What are the horrors that she put in here for me? Oh, it's a snakey. Oh, look at that. What kind is that? Two and two is four. Look, it's an adder. There you are, you know that. There you are. Now, what else? Oh, at last we got to the sandwiches. Now, what's Myrtle made for me here? Oh, good old Myrtle. Yeah. Now then, what have we got? Lovely. Oh, look, that's the doorstep. That's the doorstep. You can see where she wiped her feet. That's her doorstep. Oh, it's lovely. I wonder what she's put in it. Look at that. It's a frog. It's Kermit. It's jumping all over you. It's all over you, Julia, look at it, it's gone peculiar. It's all here. Julia, have the bread darling. You like that, will you? Bit of sauce on it. There you are, look at that. Hey, it's all over the place. That's a terrible trick. It's a bit of string, isn't it? That's no good. No, have the bag, I don't want that. Oh yeah, look what else is given me. Oh, this can't do any harm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. A rock bun. Rock buns can't do you any harm at all. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Now no, my best teeth. I've ruined my best teeth now. More teeth, more teeth. I must have more teeth. Oh dear, oh dear, I'll get them on though. Hello, darling, look at this. What's the matter? Why's the sky away? Ah! Who's that? Me. Thank goodness, I thought it was me. <laughs> oh, ten cents, oh, ten cents, oh, ten cents. Oh, that's better. Now I'm back to my own teeth now. Well, now I'm, now I'm my own beautiful, handsome, respectable, modest self. I'd like to give you a little bit of advice, you know, from one clown to all the rest of you. Yeah, it's a little song entitled, uh, don't, don't sit on the gas stove, Granny. You're too old to ride the reins. <laughs> now, here we go. Man. Yeah, what about that? Here we go, then. Make him laugh. Make him laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? My grandpa said go up and tell him a joker. But give it plenty of hope. Make him roar. Make him scream. Take a fall. Hit the wall. But sleep. By pretending you're a dancer with grace You wiggle till they're giggling all over the place And then you get a great big custard pie in the face <laughs> Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh Yeah, yeah, yeah lovely, I do A pair of shorts, please. Certainly, sir. What sort? A short shorts. Striped short shorts? Uh, spotted short shorts. Oh, sorry. We seem to be short of spotted short shorts. Short of spotted short shorts? Shame. Sorry. We do have some striped short sleeved sport shirts. Striped short sleeved sport shirts? Super. Oh, silly me. All the striped short sleeved sport shirts are sold. Sold? Sorry. Oh, what a silly shop. Short of spotted short shorts and sold out of striped short sleeve sport shirts. Sorry, sir. Well, do you have any uh, strong school shoes with stretch seams in the side for my son? Strong school shoes with stretch seams, simple. Mm. Size? Six. Size six, strong school shoes. Oh, sorry. Size seven. Mm. A skirt? Certainly, for sir. 
for my sister, silly. Oh, a summer skirt for your sister, slim size? Uh, a skating skirt for snowy slopes. Oh, sorry. Uh, some shiny silver spats? Very scarce shiny silver spats. A Scottish sporran? Sorry, sold out. Sold out? You've no spotted short shorts or striped short sleeve sports sorry. shirts, no strong school shoes, size six. For size seven? No shiny silver spats or a Scottish sporran or sorry. a skating skirt for snowy slopes? Sorry. Well, what do you do in this shop? Sing silly songs. All our assistants are smashing songsters. Ah. 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 I like short shorts. We like short shorts. He likes short shorts. We like strong school shoes for skating skirts. Ah, oh, you haven't got any strong school shoes or skating skirts. I like stretch shock shiny silver spats and Scottish sporrans. We like stretch shock shiny silver spats and Scottish sporrans. He likes stretch shock shiny silver spats and Scottish sporrans. You've got no spotty stretch socks, shiny silver spats are scarce, and Scottish sporrans are sold out. Sorry. 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 No. <laughs> Here, Trev. Yes, Arnold. I've just learned something very interesting about clothing. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know it takes three sheep to make an average sweater? Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that sheep could knit. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello? Hello, is that double two, double two? Uh, no, this is two, 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 two. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to have bothered you. Bye. No bother. I had to get up to answer the phone. <laughs> G'day, sports, cobbers, one and all. My name's Barry O'Reef, and I bet you don't know where I come from. <laughs> no, Earl's Court. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here today to introduce a fabulous artist and great twit, uh, wit, a man who last time he appeared, his name went up in lights. They set fire to the theatre. <laughs> they threw flowers at him in their pots. But above all, he's loved by millions the whole world over for his charm, his wit, his kindness, his good nature. Will you shut up and get on with it? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Heinz Beans. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and jelly spoons. Now, today, to prove my genius, I'm going to enlist the help of my cousin, Barry O'Reef. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, huh? All right. Good. And why don't you sit in the chair? What chair, mate? Hello, copper. <laughs> no, no, what chair, mate? That chair, mate. Oh, where's the chair? Miss Gilbert, you've forgotten the chair, darling. But, yep. oh, thank you so much. Here is my pinky chair. Uh, I want you, Barry, to sit in the chair. Yep, rest me mm. corks. Yeah. Oh, talking of corks, let's take this stupid hat off. There oh. it goes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, I see hats are coming in again this year. <laughs> now, what I want you to do, Barry, is to inspect this box yep. from the outside. Yep. Yeah, and also from the inside. Oh. There. Now, all I'm going to do is this. Yep. I am going to turn the box round and round. Turn the box round and round, yeah. Your head is going to go round and round. My head's going to go round and round, yeah. With the box. With the box. <laughs> <laughs> People on the front row, if you've got plastic mats, I should put them on because sometimes it's like squeezing a lemon, you know, all the blood goes <laughs> all over the place. Uh, You're okay there wearing the reds and pinks. No uh, worry, madam. Now, we'll start slowly at first. Uh, are you okay? No. Hard luck. Drum roll, please. Oh. One. Oh. Ah! Two. Oh. Are you all right? No! Three! Oh. Four! Oh. Ah. Yeah. How about that? Oh, no. Now all we have to do is to untwist it. I won't be a moment. There we are. One, two there, and then... Just twist it off. I'm trying to twist it. It's well, twist spring it off. I can't get it off. But well, push, push up from underneath, will you? Yeah? And I'll pull up. Well, well, no, don't, don't! <laughs> no, you push me! Don't sit back in the seat, Barry! Yep. Now sit there. Yep. Now, I can't... 
It's no good. I'm, yes, the, yes, the chair is on my skirts. Ah, wait, sit down again. It's all right now. Yeah, yeah. Has anybody got a saw? I've got a saw neck. Never. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> hey, I've just realised I've done you a good turn. Oh, yeah, what is that? You've always wanted eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I've heard about losing your head, but that was ridiculous. I wonder where he's heading. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, do you know, some people would believe anything you tell them. True. And then there's the other sort, of course, people like Bill. You see, he didn't believe that my friend Fred knew everyone in the whole world. It's true. Fred knows every single person in the whole wide world. Well, anyway, Bill tried to catch Fred out. And last Saturday, they're the way in the garden centre. And Bill says to Fred, I bet you three bags of manure that you don't know the lady who lives next door to me. Right, you're on, says Fred. So they left the garden centre and got a number 12 bus. And everyone on the bus said, Hello there, Fred, how's it going? Then they got off at number 17 Ackroyd Avenue next door to Bill's house. And Bill's neighbour, Mrs Voluchka, opened the door and said, Ah, hello, Fred. I haven't seen you for such a long time. Come in, come in and have a cup of tea. So in they toddled and had a cup of tea and some biscuits. And then Bill said, all right, it's easy knowing ordinary people like Mrs. Voluchka, innit? But I bet you don't know someone really famous like Cliff Richard. Me and Cliff, we're old friends, says Fred. I told you, I know everybody. Come on, I'll show you. So off they went, this time on a train. And everyone at the station said, yoo-hoo, hello, Fred. Eh, eh, Fred, baby, put it, dear man. Well, watch it, Fred, me old baby. Well, they got to Cliff Richard's house and the butler said, Hello, Fred. And then Cliff Richard came to the door and said, Oh, hi, Fred, come in and have a cup of tea and some biscuits. So they went in and had a cup of tea and about six or seven biscuits each. And Bill thought to himself, Yeah, I just got to catch him out. Then he had an idea. OK, Mr. Know Everybody, I really got you this time. I bet you don't know the Queen of England. Me and Her Majesty were like that, says Fred. I told you, I know everybody. Come on, Buck Palace it is. So off they went up the mall, and everyone was shouting and cheering, Hello, Fred, yoo-hoo! Then they got to the palace gates, and the guard said, Hello there, Fred. Uh, listen to me, old mate, I can let you in, but not your friend. Security and all that, you know. <laughs> hang on a minute, hang on a minute, says Bill. How are you going to prove to me that you know the Queen if you're in there and I'm out here? No problem, says Fred. You stand here and look up at the balcony. So Bill stood by the railings with all the thousands of other people. When suddenly there was a big cheer as the Queen and Fred came onto the balcony. Hooray, hooray, they shouted. Tourists from all over the world were saying, Mamma mia, it's a Frederick. I saw, it's Fred. They were all shouting. All except one little man who just stood there, scratching his head, looking puzzled. <laughs> Bill was ecstatic. There was someone who didn't know Fred. Oh, excuse me, Squire, said Bill. I'm all right in thinking that you do not know the bloke standing on the balcony. Here by gum, don't be silly, lad. Of course I know who that is. It's Fred. I was just wondering whom lady standing next to him was. <laughs> Hello, is that the zoo? Yes, it's the zoo here. Uh, could I speak to Leo the lion, please? I'm sorry, the lion's engaged.
Yes, madam. I can't eat this soup. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, madam. If you'll wait there a moment, I'll get the head waiter. <laughs> Some uh, sort of problem, madam? I can't eat this soup. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll get the manager. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> uh, are you something's wrong with your soup, madam? I can't eat this soup. Oh, I'm well, sorry. I'll go and get the chef out here immediately. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, madame. I understand that you have some trouble. You have told the manager with my soup. I can't eat it. But what is wrong with my delicious soup? Why can't you eat it? There's nothing wrong with it. I just haven't got a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter, waiter! Wait a moment, I mean, wait a moment, I've just come here, I've got the beard off. <laughs> waiter! Yes, madam? There's a fly swimming in my soup. Oh, madam, yes, you see, I put too much soup in there, I'll have to take some of it out. Oh! There you are, that one only likes to paddle. Waiter, waiter! Yes, madam? There's a bee in my soup. Yes, well, that's because the fly is fully occupied over there. Waiter, waiter! Yes, madam? I have a complaint. Well, the hospital's just down the road. Waiter, waiter. Yes, madam. This sausage is bad. You naughty sausage. <laughs> you behave yourself. Waiter, waiter. Yes, madam. Where's my fish? Are you the boiled cod? No, I'm the hungry soul with an empty place waiting for something to fill it. <laughs> waiter, waiter. Yes, madam. I'd like the menu, please. Oh, uh, uh, of course you would. Yes, here you are. Thank you. Mm, mm, it's much better than your soup. Call me the manager. OK, you're the manager. <laughs> no, wait. This is a job for Soupman. They call me Soupman. Serve it up, serve it up. From the planet Soup Can. Soup in a cup, soup in a cup. Well, there's nothing corny about my monogatoni. There's nothing phony about my minestrone. I make vegetable soup. Soup man, because I'm a dish. There's one thing annoys me, guaranteed to blow a fuse. That's if you spill your soup right on my blue switch. Ah! Serve it up, serve it up. From the planet soup can. Soup in a cup, soup in a cup. Well, there's nothing corny about my oh, margatoni. There's nothing phony about my minestrone. I make vegetable soup, or a soup that is fish. They call me soup man. Because I'm a dish. Superman! Waiter, waiter, why is your service so bad? I suppose it's because I've been concentrating on my backhand. You well, see. play away. Oh, well, I will. fly with their back legs crossed? We don't know. Why do bees fly with their back legs crossed? Because they're looking for a BP station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 